Hi guys, we're going to be looking at the three Waypoint apps for Mavic Pro again in comparison. I'm going to do a small third of a kilometer loop around a bay over open water here. We're going to be trying to keep a little orange buoy uh, that's floating in the water as our point of interest and keep that uh, camera focused on it. We're going to start with Autopilot. Autopilot's a pretty sophisticated program with a lot of features. Uh, one of them is Waypoints and one of the subsets of Waypoints is Patrol. So Patrol will keep that uh, orange boy in the focus and uh, I have pre-built this loop already, saved it as a mission and uh, we'll load that in. One of the nice things about uh, Autopilot is that you get to sort of pre-fly with Path Inspector, the path, have a look at the gimbal, make sure it's rotating the way that you expect it to be and then uh, before you go out there, you uh, are all set. So we're going out over the water, there's a light breeze. We're gonna be flying at about 10 meters high and about 20 uh, to 30 kilometers an hour and uh, off we go. So um, as you follow it on the screen, you see that we're keeping a pretty good uh, eye on that orange boy. I probably didn't center it perhaps quite as well as I could have when I was setting up the uh, mission, but uh, it's doing a pretty good job. As the uh, Mavic uh, swings around the corners of the waypoint, it's yawing and keeping the gimbal or the camera focused towards the boy. And as we start approaching it from the front on and it passes almost underneath the Mavic, the gimbal will have to swing down almost vertically to keep the uh, boy in the view. Now as it, it does that, uh, the yaw swings around on the Mavic and the uh, gimbal starts to pitch back up again. Uh, should happen very smoothly and it appears to be doing so. So uh, all in all, pretty good. Uh, autopilot is controlled on the controller so you have to keep a uh, radio control all the time between the uh, controller and the Mavic. FPV camera. I pre-built a mission in here and I called it target mission because uh, again a target is one where you keep uh, a point of view within the um, mission itself and uh, FPV camera loads up into the Mavic and so it becomes autonomous so you can have uh, a radio disconnection that goes on there. Unfortunately in this case here I forgot to save the screen recording which is a, a pain um, but there you go so I'll just be uh, following along on uh, the camera on board. As we're moving along the uh, loop, you see that the yawing motion is quite smooth. There's a little bit of stepping to the changing of pitch on the gimbal. It's just barely noticeable, but um, it's not quite as fluid as the autopilot camera was. So we come back around the corner and we start moving right towards that uh, boy and we have to do the pitch down and the yaw turn looks pretty good. We're keeping it fairly smooth and centered in the screen. So from a uh, video effect, I think uh, we're pretty happy with that. Then we get to the end of the program and we're gonna have a look at Leechy. I've had problems with Leechy in the past in terms of the gimbal winding around and acting uh, in an odd manner. So I'm gonna give it another try here. So Leechy again, uh, we load it with a, uh, what's called focus point of interest. We'll keep that uh, orange boy in the middle that uploads to the Mavic. It's an autonomous flight control now and off it goes. So we're following essentially a straight line right now, so it should be very smooth on both the yaw and the pitch of the gimbal. And yet you can see the gimbal is actually uh, kind of going up and down a little bit when uh, I wouldn't expect it to really have any reason to do that. It should be very smooth. In fact, that's the whole point of a Waypoint app is to have a much smoother yaw and gimbal control than you would normally be able to do by hand. So as we come around the corner and we start heading towards the boy and it swings underneath the Mavic, this is the part where we expect to have the smoothest controls. And um, it's starting to miss the boy and it loses it and it's not moving quite smoothly or in time. Looks after it there, we try to grab it, but then it kind of overshoots and in the process, getting it back in again. Uh, for some reason, I'm up in the sky looking at it. So again, a fail on the on the gimbal control on each. I'm not sure what's going on here, but it's happened many times. So in all, the autopilot, very satisfactory. FPV, close second. Litchi, you know, it's a great program for Phantom. I don't know why they haven't got Mavic figured out yet. There's something wrong with it, but it'll be fixed, I'm sure. Anyway, thanks for watching.